gonna wait for you guys in the car. I'll make sure the car is safe. <laughs> Where are we? Ooh, we're really, really high up, actually. Oh, I've done 5,000 steps. <laughs> Without going anywhere. Without going Without anywhere. Actually stepping. Where are we? This is uh, Vuria. Vuria. We're on Vuria. And uh, how high are we? Maybe 1,700 meters. Yes, meters above. And then by the time we get to the top? We'll be doing 2,200. So it's a 45 minute to an hour climb. Hey, you got the cookies. The breakfast. I came very unprepared in terms of clothing. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking about. I left with like two hoodies, no base layers, one pair of socks. Great. But next time I'll know. So basically, and synopsis, we're going to climb some shit today. Good morning and welcome to another day in Kenya uh, in a very different environment to what we're used to. We're wearing hats and jumpers and we're very wet and quite cold. But we are in one of the most beautiful places that we've been so far in Kenya. Uh, we're up on the top of Vuria. Vuria, Vuria yeah. mountain in Taita Hills. But yeah. how high are we? 2,500 meters, I think. Something, about uh, about 2,500 meters. We drove up about uh, halfway, yeah. two, two thirds of the way maybe. And then the last bit was about an hour hike, hike to the top. Pretty steep. He we're said on it was, the edge now. Yeah, we're right on the edge, but, but it's, we can't we're see, inside we a cloud. It. So unfortunately, we can't really show you the scenery, uh, but we're gonna throw the drone up from the bottom and show you guys the mountain like that we're that we're stood on the top of right now. I don't know what it looks like still. <laughs> we're gonna find we'll out. We'll see. We'll find out at the same we'll time fly. as you guys. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's great. Let's it's go. amazing. Let's go. <laughs> okay, come down. Bring it to me. The sniffing uh, leaves. <laughs> Hi. Can can everybody smell it? That's a that's a mint leaf. Is that not the biggest mint leaf you've seen in your entire life? Are you sure? That's it. Am I sure? Smell. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Can I eat it? No, you can't. I don't think it's poison. I don't think it's poison. That's too late. <laughs> yeah. Get your flower. It's beautiful. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> We're back. We made it. Um, how was that for you? My feet are wet. <laughs> it was good. I'm happy. Good for the soul. Yeah, it was good for the soul because it's something that we really miss from back in the day when we did our trips and we haven't done it for a long time. Never explored this part of Kenya and I'm really happy. Kenya continues to surprise me. Uh, it just because you know we go somewhere we have no idea what to expect or you maybe you do you expect something because obviously we're here we've been in a national park which is a big open dry space you drive 60 minutes towards some hills and all of a sudden you're in like a tropical jungle um, and in a cloud cold wet jungle but it was just it was amazing yeah. really really cool we're now gonna head back while we're here we're gonna give a huge thank you to our guide and mentor <laughs> <laughs> and horticultural expert uh, <laughs> Christopher is collected Christopher here who's driving um, is the manager up at the Lions Bluff group so you've got Lions Bluff, Cheetah, Leopard's Lair um, and 
yeah, this trip wouldn't have been possible without without Chris. Um, these guys offer this as one of the trips um, when you're staying with them in the camp or at the at the lodge. Highly recommend. A hundred percent. Ten um, out of ten. Yeah, it was amazing, and uh, you know, a little bit of fitness required, I would say, to go up, but nothing nothing crazy, and it depends on how quickly you want to do it. If you want to just power up in an hour. You know, you better have some endurance in your legs. I but, have uh, uh, one piece of advice. Warm socks. Bring dry socks for after. <laughs> yeah, bring dry socks for sure. Uh, but yeah, so we've got about 60 minutes now back to the camp or the cottages where we are going to have our breakfast. Let's go. Hey, how are you feeling? Are you feeling better? Oh. Not coughing anymore. Not coughing anymore. She wasn't very well yesterday. But today you look so much better. Okay, should we go and put these flowers in water? Yeah. All right, let's go. Is that better? Wow. That adventure really messed up this camera. <laughs> um, we're back. That was crazy. That was an amazing experience um, hiking up through the jungle like that I just wasn't expecting it at all so if you're into your nature if you're into a bit of hiking um, highly recommend that just yeah definitely definitely do it so we're back now we're gonna spend the afternoon back here at Leopard's Lair um, just basically sorting through all the content that we've collected through the last couple of days organizing it all and uh, getting ready for this evening and hopefully we're going for some bush sundowners out there somewhere weather permitting it should be okay and tonight Ina and I are um, going on a night game drive one of the benefits of being in a private conservancy like this um, is you can do things like night game drives and these guys basically the Lions Bluff group um, they are the only camps and lodges in the whole park so they they work very very closely with the rangers and with the you know the owners of the park I'm gonna get on with some work now and then uh, we'll catch up later so I've been informed that we have a special lunch today or a special lunch location which I'm walking towards now Wow, they've done it special for us so let's take a look <laughs> What do we have? Pita bread. Pita breads and hummus. I have hummus and you have chicken. Chicken. Have red cabbage. Red and cabbage. Uh, Alumi and tomato. Alumi and tomato. Masala. Nice. Good platter. Happy days. All right, good afternoon. Checking in um, since our lunch. Lunch was really cool. They set us up a nice little table as you saw. Um, down by the front with a view, 360 view out, or not 360, what's the other one? 180 view um, <laughs> of the park. And now, hopefully, it looks looks good, but now we're gonna go out for some, uh, some sundowners in the bush. Fingers crossed for a good sunset, but to be honest, if there's one thing I've learned this trip is that to just not have any expectations because this morning we went with the expectation or the hope of a sunrise and what we got instead was 10 times better I think than a sunrise. So should let's we go. should we take these guys with us on a sundowner? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay, let's, let's go. go.
Where are we going? Uh, last part of the day Oops. is a night game drive. You're too close. We're tired. <laughs> You're tired. Yeah, but I've never done it before, so I'm Daddy. excited. Good morning. This morning we are in the middle of the bush. We didn't talk about last night. Did we end the vlog last night? Oh yeah, we didn't <laughs> we end the vlog so last tired. night. We were essentially in the car. <laughs> our game drive ended with us passed out in the back of the car, um, <laughs> completely asleep. So, good morning. Uh, it was really cool actually to go out um, and kind of explore the park in the middle, in, the, night, in yeah. the pitch black. We were just exhausted because we've been up since 3.45 the morning of, of, of that morning um, and we've been pretty busy right mm -hmm. and this morning we got another unique experience we are eating our breakfast in the bush so we've got the chef over there cooking up some eggs and bacon and whatever we've got the guys here making us coffee and juice and living our best life basically <laughs> for sure you want juice that's really cool and that's the first time Malia has actually wanted Anything. food or drink for the last three days because she's still feeling a bit poorly. So I'm not going to say no to that. Uh, but yeah, let's Could have some breakfast. Juice. Nina, hmm. talk to me about your breakfast in the bush. I think it's awesome. Like so far we've had pancakes, and fruit, scrambled eggs, avocado, like <laughs> you can get avocado in the bush. I think that's pretty awesome. Um, Agreed. Look at that. You wouldn't expect that in the middle of I think this. <laughs> Never knew such things existed. What is it? We are done. Yeah, so we're all wrapped up with breakfast and we're heading out of the park. I'd say it's definitely been the like the most so far the most unique like uh, safari experience we've had, right? Yeah. You agree? Yeah. This whole thing is going to sound like a, a, a promo for uh, for these guys, but in, in all honesty, I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. But the camps that we've been staying at um, are, have just been amazing. Just like. The staff have been like super attentive. The chef is ridiculous. Massive thank you to Chris, the manager, uh, who has shown us a side to Kenya that we hadn't seen before. Um, yeah, the whole team there have been phenomenal. So it's been a really nice experience. So we're now heading out of the park and then on to our next adventure. And Malia has just fallen asleep, like in a split second. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching, see you next time.